It was one of those nights, the kind that rounds off a perfect day, the twilight coming down, air like velvet, like a languid caress. I got marooned by traffic on a concrete island. I was alone. It felt like a privilege. The metal boxes flew by me, each one like a camera shutter, opening and closing the scenes across the street. So much motion, I felt like gravity itself, and it felt fine. I don't give a shit what she said. Is it true? No. Bullshit, it's not. Like a magnet, I got pulled into their lives, and it didn't feel good. The light changed, and I started to cross. I didn't want to look. I didn't want to get involved. I just wanted to get to the party. The sound of skin against skin sounded like a shot, like cracking wood, like a crash. I looked. I wish I hadn't, because what I saw made me involved. The face-off, the standoff, the frozen time, they glared at each other. Then he responded to her slap, to her violence, to her frustration with his own, so fast, so fucking fast, grabbed her by the hair, slammed her face on the hood of a parked car once, twice, three times. I didn't think. Just as fast as he could curl his arm back for another blow, I yoked him from behind and wrenched him. And he didn't let go of her hair, so she came with us. I wanted to get him down on the ground so I could kick the shit out of him, because that's what you do when your opponent's bigger than you. He let her go to deal with me. I got my knee behind his knees, my arm still tight around his neck, behind him, out of reach. When I felt the sucker punch to the back of my skull, somehow there was another enemy, somehow behind me. I kicked him away from me and turned to see who was next on my list. And what do you know? It was the damsel in distress. Leave him alone! You just leave him alone! That threw me. That really fucking threw me. Her face, a bloody mess, swollen skin, burst teeth, cracked lips, split. She was defending hers. It was fucked up. But it was hers, damn it. She distracted me long enough for him to swing and connect with my face. Didn't go down, but was confused. Who am I fighting? Who am I fighting for? I was 17. I didn't understand. Fuck you, them, bitch. You get what you deserve. I turned away with disgust. Honorable intentions ground to dust beneath my boots. And I went on to the party and got drunk and forgot about her and him and their bullshit. Until two years later in the ER, waiting to get my face and my skull x-rayed. Squinting through black eyes at the forms in my fractured fingers. Fuck you, bitch. You got what you deserved. Fuck you, bitch. You got what you deserve. <laughs>